Howdy peepers, welcome to the video of me working my way through Mermaid. Which if you don't happen to know what Mermaid is, it's a month long challenge where you have to design a mermaid every day. Which that's not what I did. I only designed one mermaid per week, which was still most definitely a challenge for me. But it was still fun. The prompt list that I did use for this challenge was by Tally Sketch. I did leave her Instagram in the description of this video. So, my first prompt was Galaxy, which what I did for this mermaid was a bit different. It's more of a sea monstery type of vibe slash mermaid, if you will. The what the main thing I tried to get off of this was kind of like a lost within a galaxy, so she's kind of like an alien mermaid type of deal. At least that's what I was going for. Um, and yeah, and I kind of made her looking at a star as if like you know showing like she's lost, and that's where she's supposed to be. Like that's her home type of deal. And I can't remember the name of the constellation on her tail. Uh, it's some form of sea monster. If you know what it is, uh, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, I happen to enjoy this one. Pretty strong start for the challenge. And the next round I went with was Cute Punk which this is most definitely my favorite out of all my mermaids. Um, at first I hated it. I loved the sketch, but then when I started getting into drawing it, I hated it. But then the following day after I, you know, slept it over, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, overall my favorite, because my favorite genre is punk rock. I really wanted to uh, incorporate more punk elements, like maybe you leather jacket or something like that but it's a mermaid that wouldn't last underwater uh but i like her hairstyle with the spikes and the half shaven head uh the spikes on her bra and the bracelet and i just felt like it was missing something so um when i finish with the speed draw here you'll see the whatever uh it was in the back uh, it's not exactly inspired off of any type of fish um nor band in particular i just took like the most common things you see within the, uh, whatchamacallit, the punk rock, uh, stereotype, if you will. But overall, favorite mermaid. As for Albino, I don't dislike it, but I feel like it could have been done better. So, uh, if you can't tell, it's more so inspired off of an axolotl, um, which the most common ones you'll see both um, just in cartoons or in the wild. I'm not too sure if it's common in the wild. Anyway, um, you'll see an, an Albino axolotl where it's just all white. Uh, and it's somewhat see-through, uh, in a way. Um, and I thought that would be a really cool idea when I saw the um, albino uh, prompt on the list. And I was like, okay, that should be pretty cool. Actually, someone gave me that idea. So I really wanted to go for it. Um, but since everything is so light, it made shading and highlights fairly difficult. So I just felt like it was kind of flat. And also the pose in general, it's pretty stiff too. But I will say I really like the gills on her which I was definitely struggling right here. <laughs> um, but, you know, I figured it out. And also the hair, which is something I don't normally do, but I'm definitely going to do in the future. I really like the curly texture that I did put here. And I also saved the brush that I used um, when I was doing the hair. Overall, that was fun. 
but I felt like I could have done better here, but, you know, it is what it is. One more week to go. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be 100% honest with this one. For the prompt Ghost, this is an extreme, extreme stretch. So I just did not want to do Floral nor Unicorn. Uh, I really wasn't feeling anything with Painter either, so I was like, okay, I can do something fun with Ghost. But this was the last week of the challenge, and I was honestly really getting burnt out. And I just didn't find anything more interesting with Mermaids. And I kind of just like got bored because I was like constantly on Instagram, uh, just you know looking at other mermaids to like, get mermaid ideas. But anyway, uh, so I thought of ghosts and I just thought started thinking of uh, ghosts cartoon characters. And then I immediately thought of Danny Phantom and how his tail is kind of that way, and that kind of just reminded me of a jellyfish. So here I have a jellyfish. It doesn't exactly resemble a ghost. You can kind of see it within the tail. You know, but anyway, it may not match up with the prompt completely, but I really do like this mermaid. I kind of hated it most of the way through. It was more so just her uh, skin tone that just made things a bit difficult for me because I'm more so used to using um, very bright, uh, unusual uh, skin tones, if you will, for uh, skin. So, and I've just been trying to like get out of that because it's like you know that's kind of the part of doing these art challenges is to do something different. Uh, which I really like the outcome. I just want to say thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you do happen to like this video, please be sure to give me a comment and like the video. And if you do want to continue watching, just hit the subscribe button to see more videos. All of these designs are up in my Redbubble shop, and that's also in the description. You have a nice one.